championship for America. And now Ling Mo is the first woman to win a world championship in the 800. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So, let's talk about this 800 meter uh, woman final. Uh, between the thing Mo and Kiwi Hodgkinson. And I made a preview on this earlier today. Uh, I definitely said that the thing Mo was going to win, and I said there was a chance for an upset. So what we ended up getting was a super close race between a thing Mo and Kiwi Hodgkinson. Kiwi Hodgkinson really made a thing Mo work for that win. Because uh, usually when you, if you guys have seen a thing Mo in these races, man, Usually she's kind of cruising to the finish line. Um, everyone's like further back, you know, further back of her and everything like that. But Kiwi Hoskinson, man, really came in there and she was ready to go. She was ready to go and she made a theme on work for it. Uh, and so I came out of this. Obviously, I'm amazed with both girls. I'm still amazed that a theme is just this, it's just this great at only the age of 20. But I think Kiwi Hodgkinson, I came out of here like, man, Kiwi Hodgkinson is something else, bro. She would be the great right now. It, they're both pushing each other. And, that, and that's the great thing about it. We've actually got a rivalry right now in track and field that is going to be unbelievable. And the fact that they're only 20 years old, you know, we know how long we're going to be able to see this rivalry, at least about three or four Olympics. Uh, we already saw it start last year at the Olympics. Uh, when they went against each other, I think Mo already won gold there, and just to see see them in their prime though, because they're not even close to their prime yet, man. They won't. The first Olympics where I think they will really be in their prime will be the 2028 Olympics. Thing Mo will be on home soil against Kiwi Hodgkinson. Kiwi Hodgkinson will actually be. She won't be home home because it's in France. She's from Great Britain, but she'll probably have a contingency probably supporting her. Uh, since France is that close to Great Britain, probably visiting France to go root Kiwi Hodgkinson on in 2024. But Thane Mo is going to be flat out at home, you know, here in America, in L.A. Uh, I mean, she's not from L.A., but, like, she's just going to be here on home soil, home country, bro. So we're going to be able to see that dynamic the next two Olympics, uh, visiting each other's continents. And uh, Thane Mo going over to Europe and then Kiwi Hodgkinson coming back over here to North America, man. It's going to be amazing. And the Diamond League is actually in, uh, I think it's supposed to be in Eugene next year. So we're going to be doing this all over again uh, next year. It's just going to be a great rivalry, man. And and, I, and as for me, I came away just, just for me with Kiwi Hodgkinson. I think she just improved so much um, in her runs. And she's just, she's just looking amazing right now. And she's only going to get better. And she just still needs to fix a few few things here and there. And I think both girls are still going to be in the 400 in the future. I think they're still going to be, uh, I think they're still going to be in the 400 at some point. I think a Dame Mo has already kind of set her sights on the 400. I don't know when she's exactly going to join it. Um, but, you know, and I don't know if she's going to do any doubling where she's going to try to stay in the 800 just so she could really just dominate that and win all the titles that she can and be the most decorated 800 meter woman athlete of all time which is probably her goal um but we will see and and it's going to be interesting because to me uh uh you know when i was watching this race and, and, and kiwi Hodgkinson was actually um i think she actually won the 700 meter slip on this race so at one point, I think she, you know, she pretty much had the lead right there, and then it was just like, man, it was, it was a straight sprint, man. And uh, Mary Moore came in third for Kenya. Congratulations to her, and she had a really good time as well. Uh, minute in fifty six point seventy one, so she got a personal best, and uh, we just saw some really good runs in here, man. It was uh, the only thing that was a negative was really Raven Rogers and I J Wilson, who. Uh, and also for me, Anita Horvat, I, I, I thought that they all didn't do too well in this race, man. They finished the last the last few spots, and uh, I expected better from all of them. So uh, I was very shocked that uh, all of them did that bad. Natoya Gold did pretty well for Jamaica, uh, coming in fifth, top five in this race. So, uh, But those are the disappointments. But this thing was all about Thane Moe and uh, Keely Hodgkins in it. Uh, you know, it was epic. It was a really epic race to watch just from beginning to the end, man. So, uh, 
let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man, about this race. Get this video a like on y'all way out. Hit that like button for me. Uh, hit the uh, uh, share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new in the zoo. And like I said again, if you got any comments about this race, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit that super thanks button below. I much appreciate it. So later on, uh, I might end up doing another video. If I don't do another video tonight, I'll probably do it tomorrow. But I'm going to do a video talking about the future of a theme mode and Kiwi Hodgkinson as far as uh, in the 400. Taking, taking their races from the 800 to the 400 against Sydney McLaughlin and all these other talents that's, that's headed all over to the 400 meter flat. So we'll see what happens with that. But uh, thank you guys for watching. After news, like.